planer jointer, and circular saw. Everyday handy tools from Stanley are priced from $288 to $388 each. This Moto Tool Kit by Dremel is just $64.88. And save on deluxe work centers and portable saw tables by Hirsch. From tools to hardware to paint, when you have any job to do. You can do it yourself for less at Forest City. Breakaway weekdays at 4 on TV8. Tonight we'll travel to the wild and crazy Wooly Bear Festival in Vermilion, Ohio. And we'll watch as a 22-year-old glamorous model is transformed into a woman's bodybuilder for the movie Pumping Iron 2. We'll talk to Smokey Robinson and find out how he's enjoying a very strong comeback. Tony Harris discovers a new fast food place with everything from tacos, burgers, and fries for 39 cents or less. And speaking of food, in lesson number three of his new cooking school, Chef Tell goes over standard cooking terms. And we'll go behind the scenes of the David Letterman show and watch some talented pooches strut their stuff. Welcome to the Thursday edition of PM Magazine. Hi, I'm Jackie Bishop. And I'm Stan Miller. Thank you for joining us. Jackie, I have a question for you. What's black and orange and very, very slow? The PM Magazine van? You know, I never really thought about it like that, but you might have something there. But no, I'm talking about a woolly bear. And tonight we're off to the wild and crazy woolly bear festival put on every year by New Center 8's own meteorologist, Dick Goddard. <laughs> It's a Dick Goddard creation. It crawls on the ground. Isn't it a caterpillar, a little teeny caterpillar with fuzz all over it? What's a woolly bear? It's a thing that crawls around and it's orange and it's mean. It's mean? What is a woolly bear? It's Dick Goddard's career. <laughs> you might say a good part of it, because for the past 11 years, TV8 meteorologist Dick Goddard has held a festival in honor of Isia Isabella, more affectionately known to most Ohioans as the woolly bear. But why honor a lowly caterpillar? What is it about this fuzzy little character that brings it such fame? Word has it, it has something to do with the wonderful winters here on the North Coast. Legend says if the orange band in the middle is wide, it means very little snow. And if the orange band is narrow, it means a lot of snow. If caterpillars, the woolly bears, are fat and fuzzy in autumn, it means a very cold winter. If they're skinny and scrawny, it means a mild winter. And uh, every year, people begin to send me caterpillars through the mail. I get uh, cigar boxes full of caterpillars, and you can't imagine what a canceled caterpillar looks like in the letters. Woolly bear caterpillars spend the entire winter in the larval state. In the spring, they munch on plantain weed, spin a cocoon, and finally emerge as a pale yellow tiger moth in the summer. So now that you know everything you always wanted to about the woolly bear caterpillar, let's get a look at the festival held in its honor. Sunday in October, or the last one in September, thousands of woolly bear lovers converge on the north coast town of Vermilion, about 85,000 or more this year. Marching bands, clowns, beauty queens, and celebrities parade down the main street to honor old woolly. I think, really, it's an excuse for people to get together before the first snow flies, and you probably won't see those folks like until April, and it's a chance to get together and have fun. The Wooly Bear Classic 10K kicked off at 9.30 a.m. with about 500 energetic competitors.
Mike Foley of Team Ohio seemed to have more legs than a caterpillar, crossing the finish line in a little over 30 minutes. I even made a pretty respectable showing. This is me crossing the finish right after CPR was successfully performed on me. Then it was time for the Woolly Bears to run their own race, the Woolly Bear 500. This Woolly must have eaten his Wheaties. But the biggest contest going at this year's festival was trying to look like a woolly bear. It's become one of TV8's biggest media events of the year, with just about everyone pitching in to make it go. But most of the credit has to go to this man, Dick Goddard. I mean, how many people do you know that can take a caterpillar and make it a household word? You know, I think the guy even actually loves them, too. Woolly bears are some of my best friends. I have never met a woolly bear I didn't like. Well, this is the moment in this story you've all been waiting for. According to the woolly bear stripe, this year, our winter is supposed to be a cold one. Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. But now, Dick can blame the wintry weather ahead on caterpillars. What an ingenious idea. Do you believe the story about the band on the woolly bear? Don't kill Santa Claus. That's all I have to say about that. Coming up this Saturday night at 7 p.m., TVA will present an hour-long special on Dick Goddard and his woolly bear festival. So if you're still in the woolly bear spirit, you won't want to miss this one. There'll be lots of pictures from this year's festival. And coming back tonight, we'll take a look at a body beautiful. That's 22-year-old Dallas model Lori Birdsong, who's training for a role in Pumping Iron 2. For quality products at extra special prices, look no further than True Value Hardware Store's Bargain of the Month. In October, a large West Bend covered frying pan is just $9.99. This 12-inch skillet is just right for frying chicken. And the high dome lid makes it ideal for large cuts of meat. Cleanups are easier, too, with the Rock Coat nonstick surface. Get the West Bend skillet for just $9.99 during October. Look for the Bargain of the Month banner at participating True Value hardware stores. There's a burglar in your basement, stealing as much as 40% of the gas you buy and sending it out your chimney. You may cut your gas consumption up to 42%. Call one of these Lennox dealers about our most efficient gas furnace, the Lennox Pulse. The Lennox dealers of Greater Cleveland are Siebenhaar Sheet Metal, Conway Heating and Air Conditioning, Desplinter and Company, Cleveland Air Comfort, and Erie Air Conditioning and Heating. The Pulse Furnace, your investment for tomorrow. Welcome to York Steakhouse, where everything is better, more, bigger, nicer. 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 Better tasting, more to choose from. Bigger smiles, nicer prices. Better, more, more coffee. Bigger, nicer. Thank you. At York, better, more, bigger, nicer. Indulge in a romance with dance this October and catch Cleveland Ballet at the Music Hall. Called one of America's outstanding dance companies, Cleveland Ballet has something for everyone. Romance, comedy, jazz. Performances start October 14th. Charge your tickets now. Call 621-3634 or stop by your nearest Ticketron. Cleveland Ballet. Don't miss it. A few years ago, the movie Pumping Iron made Arnold Schwarzenegger a big star. Well, now it's the ladies' turn. Meet 22-year-old Dallas model Lori Birdsong, a girl who's sweating her way into a role in the sequel, Pumping Iron 2. This is a muscle gym, and Wayne D'Amelia is considered one of the best weight trainers in the country. He's here with Lori at this New York City gym with one purpose in mind. In six months, to transform this five foot two Dallas model and actress into a world class bodybuilder. In the movie Pumping Iron, Arnold Schwarzenegger flexed his way to stardom in a documentary film about bodybuilding. And as with most successful movies, there is a sequel. Pumping Iron 2 is now in pre production, and its star does not have 23 inch arms. 
she has a 23-inch waist. And remember, Hollywood scriptwriters will not control the ending of this film. It is a documentary. And when her training is complete, Lori will compete against professional bodybuilders in an actual competition. At first, I was very excited about it. And then when they showed me, you know, like what I was going to be looking like after all of this, I just died. Uh, Lori Birdsong was one of many models that we interviewed and uh, checked out for muscular structure. And when it came time to make the decision, Lori was the one with the best muscular structure out of all the models we checked out. That means her body has to have a good muscle structure before she can develop into a winner. Her competition will already be pumped up. What we're doing is almost the impossible. We're asking her, a girl off the street, I mean, so to speak, to compete against the best women bodybuilders in the world. It's almost impossible. Um, we're going to do the best we can. If it's in her to do it, she'll, she'll do very well. Is it possible for her to win? Anything's possible. Turning the page to entertainment, let's meet Motown great Smokey Robinson on the road to a comeback. What does it take to be at the top of the music charts for more than 20 years with a style so unique it's almost magical? Well, whatever that special something is, Smokey Robinson has it. And people are still lining up to see and hear him sing some of the world's most memorable songs. Don't you love me if you sing me with another girl? Sing me like I'm having fun. It's just something about him that can't be copied. It's just something all his own, and it's beautiful. I think he's mellow, and his songs say so much. They really, um, his songs say a lot about life and about love. He's a very sexy voice. His body goes along with it. And I guess women can relate to it. After a few years of handling the business end of a vice president's post at Motown, Smokey is back on the road, playing to sell out crowds who want to be a part of the Motown story. The Motown sound is hot, sparked by the success of Motown's 25th anniversary special, televised earlier this year. It was the greatest gathering of talent that has happened in history, probably, you know. And I think it was just such a great feather in the cap of Barry Gordy, who is the founder of Motown Records, because no one else could have gotten those people there like that but him. What is the Motown sound? Well, we all have different definitions of it. If you saw the special, you can see that. But to me, it's a very spiritual thing that is created by the people who created at Motown, the artists, the producers, the writers. And then she said, just because you become a young man. In the early days, it was Smokey's smash hit Shop Around that christened a new chapter for Motown and a group called The Miracles. Smokey recalls that being a performer, a writer, and a producer has never been an easy life, but being on stage makes it all worthwhile. It's a very hard life and it's very competitive and it looks glamorous and all that, but it's a lot of hard work. Yeah, I think that uh, performing is a love affair between the artist and the audience. It's uh, basically been the same for me all along, so audiences are just a bunch of people and we're having a good time and, and I love it. for Smokey Robinson are good ones, but he keeps moving on. Today, it's something of a miracle that someone records a Smokey Robinson tune every day. But he's still out there on stage, creating new music, new magic, and a legacy for years to come. Okay, listen up. That great TV special, 25 Years of Motown, will be rebroadcast October the 30th. You remember that one with Smokey Robinson and all the other great Motown stars? And who could forget the performance by Michael Jackson? You won't want to miss that one. Coming back tonight, we're off to a 39-cent restaurant. Stay with us. I have a 
twin named Tim. I used to think Mom made us Nestle Dollhouse cookies on days when Tim made his bed, and I took the dog, Tess, for a walk. But one day, Tim's bed was a mess, and I forgot Tess. And we got the world's best cookies anyway. I asked Mom. She said she bakes them just because Tim's Tim and I'm Jim. Except she pointed to Tim and said Jim. Only Nestle Tollhouse morsels and the original recipe make Tollhouse cookies the best. The best you can bake. I see your mom fixed you SpaghettiOs and meatballs. Yep. Why? It gets delicious. Why else? Well, maybe she fixed them for you because they're more than just delicious. Did you know they contain more vitamin A than a glass of whole milk? Vitamin A? And as much protein as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Protein? Even more iron than Brussels sprouts. What's a Brussels sprout? Kids may not know what's nutritious, but they do know what's delicious. Franco American. It's more than just delicious. The paint went on like satin, and it went up the wall, and it became beautiful. Amazing things happen when you paint with Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore was exciting to me because I could pick the colors that I wanted. There must be 900 yellows. You pick your color, and then they mix it there for you. And then I uh, went home and painted. And the greatest thing about it is it glowed. Regal Wall Set and Paint, on sale now at Heights Hardware Cleveland, the Wall Color Shop, Fairview Park, Ohio, and other participating Benjamin Moore dealers. What's Michigan got for you this fall? Smooth casts, nice putts, and great returns. Incredible nightlife, beautiful twilights, and satisfied smiles. Twinkling cities, sparkling shores, sumptuous food, and flavorful wine. Cascading water, tumbling leaves, beckoning highways, and just rewards. So what are you waiting for? Call toll-free for a complimentary tour package and... When's the last time you paid 39 cents for a hamburger? I know it's been a long time. Or for that matter, when's the last time you paid 39 cents for anything? Well, coming up in our next segment, Tony Harris is off to a restaurant where all the featured items on the menu are just 39 cents. Four hamburgers, okay. two french fries, one Coke, $2.91, please. $2.91? Yes, sir. Jeez, what a deal. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tony Harris, and this isn't the White Tower or Royal Castle. It's not the 60s or the 70s. Actually, it's Cleveland's latest fast food restaurant, the 39 Cent Limited. Like the name implies, everything here is 39 cents, with an added 10 cents for bacon or cheese. You can get the usual hamburger or fish sandwich or corn on the cob and spaghetti. But if you're really adventurous, you might want to try that southern delicacy called mountain oysters. Eventually, they plan to have 39 items here to complete the variety. But with deals like six hamburgers for $1.99, the customers aren't complaining. It's close by, and I get more for my money. We come here, and it's cheaper to come here to buy us everybody around the Cokes than go to McDonald's or down the street, and this is the closest for us. I mean, for 39 cents, I mean, you can't beat it, really. The 39 Cent Limited has been open for just four months, but the owners are planning to open four more within the next month. If you'd like to visit the original, it's located on Northfield Road between the Southgate Shopping Center and the Randall Park Mall. It's open from 10 until 10 daily. So if you've been searching for a fast food alternative, an alternative to those fast food prices, and would enjoy service within two minutes, well, visit the 39 Cent Limited. Coming up in lesson three of his new cooking school, Chef Tell goes over standard cooking terms with us. Hi, I'm Chef Tell. Welcome to number three of my gourmet cooking classes right here on air. And thank you very much for coming back. I know you learn a lot and it's really very interesting. I'm glad you joined me for the third lesson. After all, I'm the chef, the master chef. They call me once in a while. Tonight we want to talk about cooking terms, which means different way to prepare food. And of course I have here one piece of chicken breast. And I show you four different ways, cooking terms, how you cook this one piece of chicken breast. I show you how to bake it, how you boil it, how you saute it, and how you braise it. Why you should do it and why not. How good it is, how much heat you need, so you can follow those four different ways of cooking. The first two we're going to talk about is baking and broiling. So I'm going to go to the oven, and I see you there, and i show you exactly how it's done. The first term I would like to talk about is about baking. Now look at this. What I did here, 
I have a beautiful, nice chicken breast. I put some leaf spinach on the bottom. I put a chicken breast on top, a little breadcrumbs and some little cheese, a couple butterflies, and this is how you bake it, 350 degrees for approximately.